Yes, very good morning, friends. Welcome to Kishan's Case Education. So today, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the blue flag certification. Yeah. So today's lecture starts with today's. Here we are going to discuss about the blue flag certification. So here recently the Indian government has recommended uh, eight beaches from India to get the blue flag certification from FEE organization. So yesterday, the uh, I mean uh, the Ministry of Environment so has um, mentioned that the blue flag certification. as authorized by the fee organization so in this we are going to know about what is blue flag certification uh, what are the beaches which are uh, got the certified under the blue flag beach certification and uh, what is the importance and what is the criteria so we are going to discuss those information so here simple what is blue flag certification here blue flag uh, certification nothing but here so world's most recognized voluntary award so which is given for beaches marines as well as sustainable boating tourism operators so in these three categories the blue flag certification uh, or award is given by fee organization <clears throat> so here in order to qualify for the blue flag a series of stringent environmental educational strategy safety accessibility and there are so many criteria are mentioned in that so if you got through the criteria then the beach or marine or boating tourism operators will get the blue flag certification so that means they are in the uh, grounds of environmental and they are not harming to the environment just they are uh, uh, following the stringent rules which are framed by the if we organization as well as the indian government so here the blue flag beaches or simply we can uh, considered as a uh, simple we can environmental friendly they are very clean in the in the nature so the blue flag is one of the world's most uh, recognized voluntary eco label so so here so here the blue flag program for beaches marines is run by international uh, non governmental non profit organization that is fee which has mentioned foundation for environmental education so the foundation for environmental education has started in 1985 so when it comes to india on the same lines of uh, blue flag certification the indian government recently launched its own eco label uh, certification that is beams so your beams nothing but b e a m s that is beach environment uh, aesthetics management services which is the beams under i c j e m that is integrated coastal management uh, project so this is a brief discussion about blue flag certification so this is about f e so if we uh, runs programs and uh, awareness programs and uh, criteria and which is given um, the certification to the all over the world beaches marines and some other ecological uh, boat services as well so here you can see that the prakash devarekar minister uh, environment minister has mentioned uh, in his twitter handle so here the yacht beaches from india is got certified by uh, fee for blue flag certification blue flag beaches so here what are the eight so first one is shivrajpur beach in gujarat and uh, second one is uh, gokla in daman and diu and uh, next one kasarkod and uh, uh, padubidri beach in karnataka and kappad beach in kerala and uh, rishikonda beach in andhra pradesh and uh, golden beach of odisha and next one radhanagar beach in andaman and nicobar islands so this is the map uh, which is represented the each and every beaches and the location of the beach and here so you can easily find out uh, 
uh, where the beaches are there. So here, all are in coastal uh, states. So from here to here, from Gujarat to here, this is a coastal line. So where we have these beaches has got certified as clean beaches under FEE certified, that is blue flag beach certification or blue flag certification. So this is uh, regarding that blue flag certification. And when it comes to uh, criteria of the uh, blue flag beaches certification, so here you can you can see that uh, what is the criteria. So in that uh, the FEE followed environmental education and information and water quality and environmental management and safety and services. These are the four categories they will follow. So based on those four categories and there are some parameters are there. So for example, information related to coastal zone ecosystems and natural sensitive areas in coastal zone management and information about uh, bathing water quality uh, and information about blue flag program and the code of conduct of beach and uh, environmental education activities and uh, complaints with the uh, requirements of quality measures in water and um, how the treatmenting of uh, sewage and industrial, uh, I mean, waste management uh, in the coastal areas and um, how they're, uh, I mean, uh, uh, qualifying for the measuring the health of coral reefs uh, in that beaches if, if the coral reefs are presented and how they're monitoring coral reefs and uh, the complaints of community with requirements, service treatment, uh, effluent quality and uh, all again other vegetation, how they're protecting vegetation in that uh, beaches. And uh, here the beach uh, should be clean and how the waste disposal or management and uh, how the treatment of waste disposal and adequate clean of uh, san uh, sanitary facilities which, which is located uh, around beaches. And each and every an important uh, criteria which is followed by FEE. So if the beaches are qualified under the criteria, so then the beaches will be awarded for a blue flag certification, which means that they those beaches are very clean in nature very clean and uh, in services, very clean in security, um, very uh, clean for environment protection. And ultimately these blue flag beaches uh, will strive towards the, the world goal that is sustainable development goals. So under the consideration of sustainable development goals of United Nations, so the blue flag certification is one program which is implemented by the FEE towards to make each and every, uh, I mean, uh, water bodies simply here, the beaches, uh, marines and uh, uh, boating operators should be clean and green and should meet the sustainable goals, uh, which is mentioned under UN Sustainable Development uh, Goals. Thank you so much. Um, I am winding up here. And uh, if you have any doubts, please uh, comment. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much.